Otherwise, you might cut your white paper or just any other color. Paper. Now, take off the paper clip and you should have the same size as this one. Now, since we got our size, we want to fold it in half. I'll show you the lines. Fold it in half. Now you want to open it. Now we have a crease. Now we want to fold this part and this part to the middle. I'll show you the lines. Or an arrow. So go here, then there. Now let's do that. So fold into the middle like this. Now you should have a flap like that. Go to the other side. I'm in the art corner. Now you should have this. I want to unfold it, flip it over. Smooth it out a bit. Wait, are you ready to flip it over? So, like this, you wanna flip it over to look like this. And you flip it over for me. Now, take these corners, it's like a paper airplane. Take the corners, move it to the middle. Just like what you do 
paper airplane. Same with the other side. Now, you want to fold this part on this line. Let me show you the lines. Now let's fold it down. Now you want to open it up again. And put it back to the other side. So, it was on this side, now it should be on this side. Now you want to fold these corners to here. Let me show you the dots and lines. Okay, now let's do that like this. Now you want to fold it in. Let me show you. Okay, let's do that. Fold it in half. Like this, same on the other side, but this, the flap has to be facing in, like this. Now it should look like this and there should be a little space there. Now this is going to be the tricky part. You have to fold this to these lines. Now I'll show you how. I mean, this is hard. It should look like this. That's a bit hard. If your mom knows how to do origami, you can ask her. Now this is a bit more easier, but it's still a bit hard. So, hold here, or you just press this down, but these has to be facing out. That's a bit hard. Ta da! Now it should look like this. Now I want to fold it down. Now 
like that. Now you fold it up. like this. Don't want that out this music. Don't worry, there's music, so... Now it should look like a hat. Now fold this one up. Up to these lines here. You would see them, but you can't see them on the camera. Now you should have this shape. It looks like a cat. Now there should be a gap here and you want to put the tip in there. Now, you want to fold these corners in, only these two. Now do the exact same, but on this side. Use the same corners. Now fold them out. Now there's going to be hard. You have to tuck these in. Just like that. Boom. Same on the other side. Now it should look like this. Now, if you want, you can do the same thing here, but that's a bit hard, so I normally just cut it off. If you have any excess here and here, like me, then you can just cut it off. Now, let's just two more steps but the last one is optional you want to cut off a small piece of the tip both ears now it looks like it's cut Now there you have a little bear. So cute. And if you want, you could put some stuffing in here, then it's gonna be so soft. Or some like something squishy, like you can crinkle up some paper, um crinkle up some toilet paper, or you could put a bag of beads. Or just anything you want to make a nice and squishy. The last step is, this one is optional. You could draw a face. But since the real gummy bears don't have the face, that's why I didn't put it. Now let's put it to the gummy bear bag. I hope you like today's video. Bye Crafty Crafters!